everyone! So, in today's episode, tayo lang munang mga girls ang invited dito. Kasi some of you have been wanting to know about how I'm doing. How am I after giving birth to Aviana? What were the changes that I've noticed in my body? How I've been dealing with them? And here, I'm going to share with you guys how my postpartum recovery has been going. And I'm going to share the many changes that I experienced during and after giving birth, especially the physical changes that I experienced like weight gain, my C-section recovery, stretch marks, hyperpigmentation or skin darkening, lalong lalo na sa kilikili. First change and the most obvious change that I experienced is weight gain. If you knew me before getting pregnant or if you were following me before, you know that I'm all about like the active lifestyle, fitness, staying healthy and all of that. But that all changed when I got pregnant. While I was pregnant, it was so, so hard for me to do any physical activity because I always just felt tired. I felt like I was in a body that I didn't recognize kasi parang pakiramdam ko, ang bigat-bigat ko. Alam mo yun, sobrang hirap lang para sa akin gumalaw. Siguro I can count with my two fingers how many times I worked out in the duration of my whole pregnancy. Sobrang wala lang talaga ako sa mood. And at the same time, I didn't want to force myself naman to do something that I didn't feel like doing. I didn't want to stress myself out. So, pernamis ko na lang yung sarili ko na, sige, I will let myself YOLO, indulge. I won't work out during this whole pregnancy. Look at this girl. Check up siya, pero... Uy, dawa yun, <laughs> but after my pregnancy, I will go back to my old routine. And that's what I did. I actually gained 60 pounds towards the end of my pregnancy. So that's a lot of weight. That's more than the recommended weight gain. After my pregnancy, I gave myself three months until I started to do super duper light exercises lang. As in, I started with 10 to 15 minutes of walking a day on my treadmill. Like, not even fast walks ha. Super normal walk. Like, how I would walk normally if I had to go to the bathroom or the kitchen. And then, kung kaya, I kept increasing the length of time. So, 15, 20, 30 until I was able to do walking every day for an hour. Aside from that, I also tried to add in some stretches that would be healthy for for our core because our core really gets bug-bug when we're pregnant, diba? Our muscles move and stretch. So I tried to slowly try to bring them back together again, wake my muscles up and all of that. I also did a little bit of weights. Slowly, I increased the weights that I would do or I would add the exercises that I would do with some weights. I started at three months, but I just want to remind everybody that this is different for everyone. Some are able to work out six weeks after giving birth. I didn't feel ready for that. So some of you can do it earlier. Some have to wait a little later. You have to get approval from your doctor. And really, really listen to your body when you feel ready. There's no rush naman to losing the weight and there's no pressure because we just had a baby. Our bodies are beautiful. It really needed that extra weight to carry a healthy, beautiful baby. So there is no rush. No rush. Even until now, I am five months postpartum and I still am over 10 pounds heavier than when I was pre-pregnancy. And to be honest, that doesn't bother me. I work out not to lose the weight, but actually just so that I don't gain any more weight. I also am still eating anything that I want to eat. I still have rice with every meal. I still I still snack, I still indulge, I still have my sweets. I I just work out para lang to make sure na okay, hindi na ako mas lalaki pa dun sa 60 pounds na yun. And true enough, hindi naman. And added bonus is I did lose a lot of weight from just walking every day. It's really just to just to feel stronger again, feel confident again, get healthy again, get the mo body moving again, comfortable for my baby when I carry her. <laughs> wow. And 
that's able to do all the demanding tasks of being a mom. That being said, because I did gain weight, some of you ask me if I experienced stretch marks. And I am one of the unlucky ones that did experience stretch marks. No matter how vigilant I was about putting creams, lotions, oils, everything, I had a collection. I was putting twice a day, sometimes thrice a day on my belly. And still, I still got stretch marks. I got stretch marks in my puson area. Ko. Siyempre, when I was pregnant, it was very red. Now, after a few months, medyo naglilighten na siya. But the texture of the skin on the areas na nagkaroon ng stretch marks, siyempre, hindi na siya the same. Honestly, I haven't really tried to treat the stretch marks because one of the things that I did is just to accept this is how my tummy looks now. It's just not ever going to look like it did before I had Aviana and that's totally okay with me. I can have 10 million more stretch marks and it's okay because I was able to give birth to a very healthy baby girl. Very important to just work on the things that we can change or we can improve and be light and accepting of the things that we cannot improve. The next thing that I experienced and I'm sure many moms can relate to this is skin darkening. Lalong lalo na sa kilikili. Before getting pregnant with Aviana, I never really gave much thought of the color of my kilikili, it was never an issue to me. Hindi ko siya masyadong pinapansin. Nandiyan lang siya. Hindi ko siya, wala akong ginagawa sa kanya kung di maglagay ng deodorant. Nung nabuntis ako, I was aware na nangingitim talaga yung mga kilikili, yung mga batok, yung mga chan, yung mga siko, ganyan. I was aware of that. Pero, akala ko masispera ko doon. But, I was wrong. I was really so wrong because towards the end of my pregnancy, I experienced a serious case of mom their arms, which is dark underarms caused by hyperpigmentation during pregnancy. I had this really bad, as in, as the weeks in my pregnancy progressed, paitim ng paitim ng paitim ng paitim yung kilikili ko. During that time, syempre, when you're pregnant, you can't really do anything, diba? You can't really put anything you want. You have to be safe. You wanna be safe. Hinayaan ko lang, thinking that after my pregnancy, siguro maglalighten din yan or it will just go away. But months after my pregnancy, my kilikili remained dark. It lightened a little bit, but it was still very dark. It was way darker than my skin tone. It was starting to get me really conscious. Lalo na na, we started vlogging here at home. So, every time na konting race lang ng kilikili ko na ganon, nakikita ko talaga sa video na, oh my gosh, ang itim nakakahiya. Eh, hindi naman ako pwedeng mag long sleeves lang palagi, ba? Kasi, ang init. Mainit dito sa Pilipinas. I had to look for a solution and I wanted one that would help me with my dark underarms very quick. I did some research and I think there are some treatments that could lighten your underarms but they're very very expensive and as a new mom I didn't really want to spend the money on something that I wasn't sure would help also I didn't want to go out nasa pandemic pa rin tayo so I didn't want to have to go out for treatments that is how I found this this is the Bella Underarm Whitening Cream. And this is super duper affordable. This is only 369.75 pesos. And this lightweight and non-sticky formula is clinically proven safe for sensitive skin because it's alcohol and paraben free. Now this promises to give you lighter underarms in just two weeks. So Shepre, I tried it. I gave it a go. I included this in my nightly routine. Nightly talaga because I learned that the night hours are the prime time for your skin to regenerate. Kaya super important talaga yung nighttime skincare routine. Kasi that's when our skincare products can really nourish and care for our skin as we sleep. So I gave my underarms TLC every night and made sure na nakaka beauty rest talaga. Kili kili ko. I must say, girls, this is really true to its promise. It really made my kili kili a lot lot lighter and i just want to add ha, this is very different from whitening deodorants because deos are meant to protect you from sweat and odor and sometimes it's not effective enough to give us the light underarms that we want i will show you guys how i use the bella underarm whitening cream at night after my whole skincare routine before i go to sleep this is what i do i apply a pea-sized amount on both underarms at night and it penetrates 
underarm skin and intently whitens at the cellular level in just two weeks. I found new confidence in my vellified underarms. White, clean, smooth, and spotless underarms. So there you go, girls. Those are more or less the major changes that I encountered during and after pregnancy. And those are the solutions that I found helpful. If you're experiencing the same as I did, I really do recommend the tips that I gave you. I hope it is helpful to you. And if you experience dark underarms the same way I did, I really, really do urge you to try the Bello Underarm Whitening Cream and see for yourself. This coming Shopee 99, make the most out of it and get Get your hands on Bellos. Buy one, get one deal promo on the Bello Underarm Whitening Cream. So far, those are the major, major, major changes that happened to me. And I really urge you moms to really find time for yourself. I cannot stress how important that is because I also experienced yung parang the bale na anak ko na lang muna. Sa okay yung anak ko, okay lang ako. Hindi ko na naalagaan yung sarili ko at some point. And it really did take a toll on my confidence. It really didn't feel so good. I know moms you're really busy and sometimes beautifying ourselves is really the last on our list but i promise it makes such a huge 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 difference i cannot stress how much better i feel when i started to take the time to take care of myself let's love ourselves mamas and keep ourselves happy because our babies feel it if we are happy our babies are happy i hope that you guys learned a thing or two or picked something up in this video thank you for joining me today and for all you mamas out there I am sharing you all the good vibes and all the energy that we need for our little families. Stay safe, everyone. Bye!